is your first alert five weather with Mike Daniels. We have got mostly clear skies all across the Pikes Peak region right now. That's a live look Manitou Avenue in Manitou Springs live from downtown Pueblo looking very festive with all the holiday lights out on display. Here's what's going on. More Pacific energy crashing out of the northwest coast right now. That's your next weather maker. This storm system moving very quickly right toward the state of Colorado. What it'll mean is warm conditions ahead of the system tomorrow. It is going to attract the cold front though. That cold front's going to blast through here after sunset tomorrow evening. Wind will switch to the north and it'll stay strong and gusty. Again, I think we could see winds tomorrow at times from 45 to 55 miles per hour. Those winds will stick around through late tomorrow night into early Thursday morning as well. And some of us will be seeing a little bit of snow late tomorrow afternoon into late tomorrow night. Let me show you how it plays out hour by hour. This is tomorrow morning. Nothing but sunshine all across the News 5 viewing area. Here come the clouds by mid afternoon, snowing along and near the Continental Divide. If you have to travel westbound over the divide out to the western slope, you'll certainly want to take some extra time and certainly check those road reports too. This is a real quick moving storm, but it's packing a mean punch. A lot of snow and a lot of wind for the higher elevations as well. And here we go just in time for the drive tomorrow at 530. A little bit of snow across Monument Hill. Don't worry so much about placement of the snow and the rain, but just know that we'll have rain showers and snow showers tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night. Southern Sangres could pick up a couple inches of snow. And then look at this. That snow really starts to intensify along and south of the Arkansas River late tomorrow evening. This is 8 to 9 o'clock. Good bands of snow across eastern Los Animas County into Baca County. And again, winds will gust from 45 to 55 miles per hour. So real slow going, maybe almost impossible to travel along 160 late tomorrow evening across the Los Animas County, Baca County. Everything clears out from north to south late tomorrow night. So again, a fast moving storm, but it is packing a healthy punch. Here's a look at the wind tomorrow. It'll be strong and gusty tomorrow morning west of I-25. That wind translates off the hills to the I-25 corridor. Pueblo by 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Winds gusting up to 32 miles per hour already. The wind switches to the north. There we go with that cold frontal passage. You can see Pueblo about a half hour later. That wind switches to the north, ushering in much colder air for Thursday. That wind will stick with us through at least Thursday morning. Now the strongest wind down across far southeastern Colorado, a high wind watch from tomorrow evening through Thursday afternoon. Winds gusting easily up to 55 and 60 miles per hour across the area. The snow is not going to amount to much, maybe a dusting along parts of the Palmer Divide, but always remember it doesn't take much snow to mess up that commute over Monument Hill. Wind and snow, low visibility, maybe some blowing snow issues tomorrow afternoon into early tomorrow evening. No snow accumulating across Pueblo County. A couple of passing snowflakes certainly in the mix, but that's it. Maybe up to two inches of snow, though, out across far eastern Los Animas County to go along with that strong gusty wind. Pueblo, a cold start this morning, but a great recovery. The warmest it's been so far during the month of December. In the springs, a mild start at 28. Today took it back to a high of 59. That's also the warmest day we've had in almost two weeks. Outside right now, under those clear skies, 30s and 40s across most parts of the News 5 viewing area. Low temperatures tonight, real close to where we should be in most cases. Afternoon highs tomorrow reflecting that warm downslope push of air. It is going to be unseasonably warm once again, but as usual, it's just that warm ahead of the next storm system. Windy and cold around here on Thursday. Winds will gust early and then die off during the late morning into the afternoon hours. Lots of sunshine on Friday. Great recovery Friday, and it gets even better Saturday and Sunday. Great weekend for December. Lots of sunshine, blue sky, dry conditions. If you're going to head out doing some of that Christmas shopping in Pueblo tomorrow, windy and warm, so hang out of your hat, but forget about your coat. Almost 20 degrees colder on Thursday with wind early in the day. A dry, warm pocket of air makes a big comeback on Friday, and look at that weekend. Mother Nature really turns on the charm. Sun, breezy, and unusually warm just the way you like it during the month of December. And for Canyon City, after a quick shot of chilly air on Thursday, we start downsloping again Friday, and that pattern will persist through the weekend into early next week with lots of sunshine each and every one of those days. And for Woodland Park, a few passing snow showers late in the day tomorrow. It'll be late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Storms moving so fast, you'll have clear skies by 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow night. Then lots of sunshine Thursday through the weekend with dry conditions.